All right, all right, we're we're at a point. Wow, we kind of ran out of room. Let's let's wrap this up real quick. <laughs> uh, the wedding itself, it was me and her, obviously. Uh, my son was there. I had a friend who had brought her girlfriend. Her mom came and her sister. And we got married. It was just like the justice of the peace. He kind of rushed us through it. We we got married. I was real nervous to actually kiss her in front of her mom. I was too. <laughs> but uh, didn't stop us. So we, we went through the motions. We said the vows. We got married. And then they were like, hey, you need an adult to sign the paper to make it official. And it was like, well, you can pay just a guy. We'll have a guy who do it. They wanted like 20 bucks for it. And we kind of looked over at her mom. <laughs> And she said, oh. so she signed the paper and I, I, I teased her. I was like, you know, this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't signed. This is your fault. But it's not true. You know, it no, would have I mean, happened. It, it would have happened. We would have got somebody to sign. And I remember hugging her and I promised her, I was like, I'm, I'll take care of her. I promise. She was like, yeah, you better. And I was like, can I call you mom? I don't even know why I asked her that. I think I was just emotional. emotional. And, I said, and she was like, no, one thing at a time. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's fine. But here we are, like three years later, and we're we're still here, and still happy. And I can't imagine why anybody would have issue with that. And our after we got married, that was a whole different journey. Like it wasn't bad at all, but it was really just adjusting. I had a way of living; they had a way of living, and we yeah. had to kind of come together and like, okay, I I came with preconceived. Like, we need to do it this way. This is how and, we do and things. And me and Kari were just like, it's just been the two of us yeah. for all this time. And, and this is how we do things. We all had to kind of set aside how we used to do things and figure out how we're going to do things together as a family. And we're golden now, you know. Yeah, like, but it took a couple of years to get here. And it wasn't, we were always good. Like, our family yeah, the, was the always good. was always fine. Yeah. The family was... It was but just it was finding just... a comfortable medium where exactly. everybody's voice was being heard. Like, Kari was at a point where he was just turning 18 and he was coming into his own. And he By was the time man. he was 16, so he was still... It was like the like last awkward teenage years. He was kind of an asshole, but I was also kind of a bitch. Um, and he and just hated, wanted everyone to be happy. The <laughs> there were times where Asia would be like, yeah, Kari should do this. And I was like, Kari, you do this right now. But I would cut him the look, and he'd be like, "Yeah, we're putting on a we're show for a, her." You shouldn't do that. Yeah, we we did anyway, a lot. We, and we he was like, to... "Sorry, Dad, you're right." And then as soon as we leave, he'd be like, "Fuck that bitch, I ain't doing nothing." We yeah, I yeah, but we're we're good. We're more than good now, we're, and we're beyond good. What's now. funny to me is you can look and you know even if you just want to count from the day we got married, it's like it's almost like every year we get better, and. We're at a point now where I, I can't imagine, I can't fathom being any happier than I am right now. I never realized or thought I could be that this level of happiness even existed. I am just absolutely happy. And, you know, I know I, I, is no way you can look at us and not see that we're happy. But I realized... Um, yesterday after talking to my mother after everything happened that she still feels the way she felt day one and that's if anything sad, and really. she she might even feel worse about it now and that saddens me because i i can understand that it was hard at first i do get it i, I really do but after so long after being married three after, plus after, years after a point if i was just a weird creepy pedophile guy who was just oh i just want some young booty I would have dropped her six months into it and we'd have been done. Here we are. We're approaching year eight. I mean, ups and downs. I mean, it was never a solid eight years. There were always issues or concerns. But, we, we, we've but been it was involved. always us. Like, even Darren, Alberto, all of it, it was always us. And here we are, almost eight years later, and it's still just as solid as it needs to be. I think we should also mention that it was very important to us before we got married, we had to, we called everybody who we thought would be an issue. Any unresolved anything. It's like, let's tie it all up. Let's yeah. let's tell all the exes, here's what's going on. I called family members that I had issues with because I didn't want to bring anything negative into my marriage. I didn't, I didn't want that kind of energy there. Yeah. So whatever problems we had, we solved. And more importantly, I told her, it was like, yeah, you fucked up. 
you, you, you did some things that I know you're not proud of, but the second we do this and you say I do, this is clean slate. It's like fresh start, day one. None of these things matter anymore. And she said I do, and I said I do, and I kissed her, and it took everything I was to not cry, but for me, that was day one. So if we can do it, if I'm able to overlook all the things that went wrong, if she can overlook the death threats and me being sick and then doing the things that I did, why can nobody else? It doesn't adversely affect anyone else. How her mother or anybody in her family could look at us and go, well, what are you talking about? What, what did, no, he's bad for you. How can I, I'm, I'm still here. And yeah, we struggle. Things have been difficult here, but that's a financial situation. It, it has nothing, it to, do has with nothing to do with our marriage. <laughs> nothing. It's like I had preconceived notions of what marriage was going to be, and I was wrong. I was all wrong. This has been a journey for me. It's like I'm in uncharted territory. Like before this, my longest relationship was like a year and a half. I, I didn't know. But now I go to sleep next to her every night. I wake up next to her every night. And while I don't always roll over and stare at her in the middle of the night and smile and go, oh, my God, I'm so lucky. To be fair, I do often wake up to him just you know, staring at me. And sometimes, you know, I wake up and I just go pee. Or, you know, sometimes she wake up and I fart at her. You know, it's not always romantic and sunshine and lollipops. But nothing in the world like it. This, I've said it before. If this woman is not my better half it's because she's just better than me if we're not equal it's because she made me who I am we are who we are because of each other and I made her a promise many years ago I will always find you and we did so yeah that's that's the most honest rendition of this story we have ever told yeah like I'm not saying that we've lied in other ones, but there was just so many things we left out for the sake of we didn't want to mention the underage sex part. We didn't want to mention the mistakes that you had made. We didn't want to talk about my sickness or death threats, but that's that's who we are. So when we are on Facebook and we go seven years strong or eight year journey for our family, it's like some people get a little bit out of shape because they do the math and it's like, whoa, you're talking eight years. She was 14 when it started. But it's us. But it's what made that's us who we where are. it started. So we're not celebrating that, you know, there was pedophilia sex and, you know, she could have had a disease or I was dying from some brain tumor. But to discount where we came from is disrespectful to where we are. So, yeah, all of those things happened, and we're here. Yeah. I spent, well, we spent so many years not talking about us, and I'm expected to leave out certain parts about our relationship now. It's like, I'm an adult now. We're married. We've been married for years now. I'm not going to hide, you know, certain things from our relationship. I spent so long doing that. And honestly, I'm just not ashamed of it. You know, that I do feel like I have a darker past than I would like. But, but every but no, decision. You don't. But no, you don't. We, we agree. The moment you said I do, it didn't You're right. matter. You're right. None but of it matters. all of those choices, even the ones I'm not very proud of, all helped me to become who I am now. And, you know, I think it's important to talk about it. You know, it's, I, I'm not saying that I have to, you know, go out of my way and constantly talk about it. I don't have to always go into details, but I'm also not ashamed to if the opportunity presents itself. Oh, so, I'll sing it from the rooftops. I love talking about us. Well, I mean us, yeah, but I'm just talking about like with every, and you know, again, like and I know I don't mean to like keep talking about it, but it's not like we're on Facebook, you know, saying like, Hey, you know, remember that time when you were fourteen and we had sex? It's just when we mention it, it's very, you know vague. Vague, yeah. It's like, you know, our eight year journey, you know. But some people can't look past that. And honestly, while it would be nice if people did, it's not expected and it's honestly not necessary. I'm, I'm done. I, I know what I have. We know what we have. And we're happy. And that's all that matters. And if you're on board, then awesome. And if not, that's fine too. But 
talking about it and you know trying to debate with me on why I shouldn't do certain things honestly you're just wasting your time because at the end of the day it kind of becomes a joke in the house to us oh yeah we we <laughs> we at the expense of others all the time we're joking about that yeah but the age thing never comes up for us it never you does. know the 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 rift that was there once upon a time doesn't come up it's just now it's business as usual hey what's for dinner hey what movie do you want to watch the, the, our biggest argument in this house is no what do you want to watch no what do you want to watch well, would you like the last donut no baby you have the last donut the stero- or me fussing at him about his sleeping pattern or something like, like that there's, but there's it's never no anything here. serious like at all I like to think that I'm a good wife and I'm always striving yeah. to be a better wife and this guy is the most amazing man that I have ever known I try I try so, All right, we should wrap this up. We're boring us. the hell out of people. I know, like we're just—they're like, okay, wow, All right, story's <laughs> over. Nothing to see here. Move along. Give me a kiss. I love you. I love you too. My baby. So I'm gonna <sighs> turn this off and that's make it. out with this that's guy. That's it. That, that's the story. Now we've got some making out to do. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Feel yeah. a little poop. Some under <laughs> some mm-hmm. underage making out. Whoa, wait a minute. No, wait. You're not 22? I didn't tell you. Oh, shit. I'm 12. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, turn off the camera. This is about to get nasty. <laughs> nasty. Wow, that would make the story real. What would you like? Right? Seven when this started? <laughs> no wonder your mother hates me. Jesus. All right, here. Look, we're done. We're the joke's done. over. <laughs>